Hi, I want to talk to you about fibroids. Now, we know fibroids cause an awful lot of problems. Um, the biggest two are bleeding and pain. It's one of the number one causes that women have ended up with hysterectomies. And it's because they're sick of the heavy bleeding and they're sick of the pain. And if the hormone medications don't work, that's the next step. And rather than just remove the fibroid, they remove the uterus because it means the fibroids aren't going to grow back and you're not going to develop anymore, which is great. But getting that surgery is a bloody nightmare in the NHS right now. Half of the time, gynecologists are not going to listen to you. And that's if you can even get a referral to a gynecologist. You've got to get through the gatekeepers of the GP first and you've got to get through the receptionist to get through the GP to wait for a referral, do the whole waiting list, see the gynecologist who then goes, let's do some bloods, let's do some X, uh, ultrasounds. Then they go, oh, you've got fibroids. Could we maybe cauterize? Could we maybe try some hormones, maybe a coil? And when none of that has worked and you're now two, maybe three years down the line of living with bleeding, medications, side effects, and of course, pain, Finally, your gynecologist will say, OK, let's book you in for the hysterectomy and they will take you in and they will do the hysterectomy and then your pain's gone. The bleeding's gone. The problem's gone. Fantastic. Now you're in menopause unless they've left your ovaries intact. But quite often that doesn't always happen. Uh, age, things like that. So I get women turn into me and women turn into acupuncture because they're sick of living with this. And of course, even when they've agreed to have the hysterectomy, the problem is there's a waiting list for that as well. Does acupuncture treat fibroids? Yes. So what acupuncture does is it moves blood inside the uterus. It deals with fibroid masses and blood stagnation in your uterus. Now, blood stagnation isn't a term we know in Western medicine. It's something in Chinese medicine. But essentially, blood stagnation, things aren't moving right. They become a stagnation, causes pain and things not flowing right. We re-establish flow, pain go bye-bye. You feel better. It doesn't stop the fibroid from being there. It just stops the symptoms from causing you a problem until you can get the treatment you need. So if you're struggling with fibroids, go and see an acupuncturist. And in some cases, it's been found acupuncture can shrink them. Definitely worth more research. This has been Thoughts with Points. Take care.